Is it too cold outside for you to practice? Is it maybe raining, snowing, or perhaps there's a hurricane in your area? Well then fear not because I'm gonna be showing you some soccer drills that you can do right in the comfort of your own home. Okay, so before we start, all of you who are doing the 30 day dribbling challenge that I issued, read the comment I put in the comment section which will explain what I want you to do and there are other drills that you can be doing so check that out. For those of you not doing the dribbling challenge, you can look in the description for a link to that if you want to join us. But anyway, we're going to be going over just four simple drills that you can do in a very small space in your home that is going to improve your touch on the ball and your dribbling. Now, although these drills may seem very, very simplistic, if you do them often, you will see a massive increase in your touch on the ball and in your dribbling ability. I can't emphasize enough how doing each and every one of these drills every single day, which is what the dribbling challenge is about, how much that can actually improve your ability on the ball. So I'm gonna show you each drill, break each one down very briefly, tell you how long and how much you should do each one, and then at the very end, I'll put it all together for you. Okay guys, just to break this down really quickly, um, it's very good at improving your touch with the inside of your foot. You want to go quickly, but not so quick that you're losing control. You can see that I didn't really lose control um, during that whole process, but I would have if I went much faster. So keep it under control. Do this for about 30 seconds at minimum and do three sets. Okay guys, this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. Now with this one, make sure you're focusing on getting the touches. Don't worry about speed at first. Once you get good at this, you can start to go a little faster, but it's all about the touches. You're getting a touch on your inside, then outside, then inside, then outside of both of your feet. And it's very important that you're getting those touches in. Again, I recommend you do this for at least 30 seconds for three reps. And if you have more time, you can always do it for a minute for three reps or even longer. Okay, so this one, it's very important you stay on your toes because if you don't, it's going to be almost impossible um, to do this drill. Again, you're going to be doing both sides. Don't think that you do your right foot and that's one set and then your left foot and that's two sets. It's do your right foot for 30 seconds or more. That's one with the right foot. Then do the same with your left foot and that's one set. So you're going to do it three times, meaning you're going to do each foot three times for a total of doing it six times okay so this one is really good especially for developing your weak foot if your foot's really weak um, keep at this one this one might be the most difficult of the four i'm going to show you but it could also be the most beneficial
Okay, so this drill is a little bit different because you're going to be rolling the ball back and forth on your heels. Now, it's very, very important you stay on your toes here. And this one, I actually do want you to focus on speed. If you make a few mistakes while doing that, this one, it's fine. But um, I consider this one one of the easiest of the four. And I'm not too concerned if you miscontrolled a few times. Um, I want you to really focus on doing this as fast as you can. And again, we're going to go for three sets of 30 seconds. But remember, with these sets, guys, that you don't have to do 30 seconds, you can do more. I just recommend that you do at least 30 seconds. So if you're in a bit of a time crunch and you don't have much time to get your workout in, do 30 seconds for three sets. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Now remember, if you really want to get the most out of these drills, you need to be doing them every, every day or every other day or very often at the very least. I recommend joining our dribbling challenge, which is doing it for 30 days, because that's going to really fast track your improvement. Okay, now if you are doing the 30 day dribbling challenge, remember to check out what I put in the comments, because you can do more than just this drill, okay? This is only one recommendation of what I think you should be doing. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Make sure you come back tomorrow for a brand new training video. We have a lot of plans um, for the channel in 2017 and a lot of great videos coming your way. So come back tomorrow at the same time and we'll have a new one for you. Make sure you like and share this video as well. And if you're new to Simply Soccer, there will be an icon at some point. You can hit the subscribe or you can hit that red subscribe button down there. Guys, thank you. I'll also have two videos come up across the screen. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video and uh, get working on your dribbling.